Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. So today's word um, comes from his word, the Bible. Um, he just highlighted some stuff for me on Saturday, um, the 21st, October 21st, 2023. Um, as I was in his word and I've read this so many times and this is something that my daughter had highlighted like years ago and I would always read it and it would never speak to me in any way until Saturday and I'm like mind blown um, so it's a word for this season for right now and it's so good and I'm so surprised that I never caught it like but it just wasn't time right until right now <laughs> praise Jesus um so um this is in Ezekiel uh 30 verses 13 through 16 and the bible that I was in the translation is the complete Jewish study Bible and after um, God spoke to me through this passage I I went back to all my other translations and it it's just it just doesn't it just says it differently and like it just doesn't you know so it had to be this translation the complete Jewish study Bible and this is actually my main Bible. Um, I have other translations, but this was the the main the, my main Bible and the one that I uh, got when I came to Christ. Um, and I've gotten other translations since, but this one's like my main Bible, right? Um, and so let me read it, okay? Um, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Uh, okay, so it says here, this is uh, Ezekiel 30, verse 13. Here is what Adonai Elohim says. I will destroy the idols, make the false gods in Noph cease to exist. No longer will there be a prince from the land of Egypt. I will I will put fear in the land of Egypt, desolate Petros, set fire, excuse the name pronunciations and stuff. And also this translation, all the names are in Hebrew. So it's even extra like hard, <laughs> you know, um, where was I? Okay, verse 14, uh, desolate uh, Petros. Patros or Petros uh, set fire to to Zoan, execute judgments in my face is itching in no pour my fury on Sin, the stronghold of Egypt, and destroy the hordes of No. Yes, I will set fire to Egypt, Sin will writhe in anguish no will be torn apart enemies will attack no in broad daylight okay so like i said i read this so many times before and it never spoke to me but god highlighted the words um seen s e e n that's how it is spelled in this translation this uh it's seen s e e n and then no n o no right so god is saying he's going to do three things to um egypt seen and no to these three things he is going to act upon Egypt, seen, and no. Okay. And so Egypt is um, known as like, uh, is associated, right, with oppression and wickedness. 
um, because they're the ones that oppressed uh, the Israelites and there had to be that whole Exodus thing that's relevant. Um, and so wickedness and oppression, Egypt, and then seen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Seen. And the verse that the Lord gave me on this is 2 Corinthians 4, 18. And it says, so we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Okay. And then, um, no, it's like, no, right? But let's talk about Egypt and seen. So the, the verses say that God is going to execute judgments, okay? And um, he's going to pour out his fury on seen the stronghold of Egypt and destroy the hordes of no. So the way God gave me revelation on this, um, the way the Holy Spirit explained it to me and how we can apply it uh, and how it's so relevant in our life and in our situations and in our seasons now is that any oppression, any wickedness, God is doing away with it. Anything you've been struggling with, um, an addiction, a habit, uh, anything God is breaking that stronghold. Thank you, Jesus. Um, he's doing away with it. He has heard you cry out to him and uh, asked for help. And he's the only one that can do this. Um, and so he's going to do this. He's going to set you free from all oppression and wickedness. Okay. And then uh, the scene. Um, we know that faith is, um, uh, we walk by faith and not by sight, right? And so a lot of times what that means is that we can't go based on what is a scene, on what we are seeing in front of us. And it's like a lot of times because God wants us to grow in our faith, whatever he tells us is the complete opposite of what we see. Okay, so now he's saying what you are seeing is temporary. What you are seeing will be no more. It is time for the unseen. Whatever I've spoken, whatever I've said, whatever I've promised is going to now be seen. The unseen, it will, it's eternal, right? Because what is seen is temporary. And so that is coming to an end. He's doing away with what is seen. Um, seen will writhe in anguish. That's what it says. His word says this. Okay, this is it. Me. Um, it will writhe in anguish. It will cease to exist. It will be no more. Okay, so now there's going to be this alignment. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, just this morning, he was talking to me about um, heaven and earth and how... Um, we should be experiencing heaven now and not wait until the next life or the afterlife or until we die and pass on and it's like no like the whole uh bible is is uh especially with jesus and what he did on the cross is to reconcile heaven and earth for his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven which is now for us to experience that now um, so there's going to be that alignment between heaven and earth where what was unseen will now be revealed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And that's what our eyes are going to see. Whatever uh, God has promised, whatever he has said, now there's going to be an alignment. Um, what we have seen in the spirit, what he has shown us in the spirit will now come to the forefront will now be what is seen so now this unseen is going to take over hallelujah <laughs> thank you lord um and then with no what is he doing with no what is he talking about with this 
um, every no, every rejection, everything that has halted you, that has stopped you in your tracks and not let you progress. Um, just know, right? God is a God of yes and amen. Okay, so he's doing away with all the no's. He's doing away with the rejection. He's doing away. Um, he, he has the final say. Okay, and this is what the scripture that he led me to. It's Revelations uh, 3, 8. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength. Yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. So now he is going to reward you and turn those no's into yes. Yes and amen. So he's doing away with Egypt. He's doing away with seen. And he's doing away with no. And you can look up these scriptures. Um, Complete Jewish Study Bible. It's all there. And I am just like wow lord and the season is now he's doing it now so praise god receive this word I'll, of course I always take everything back to the lord make sure it is for you um in this season in this time and so yes i'm so excited i feel it i hope you guys do too um he's doing away with egypt all oppression all wickedness um, he's doing away with uh, what is seen, what was, what is temporary will be gone, and with no. God is saying yes and amen to every promise. All of his promises are yes and amen. Praise Jesus. Um, so that's it for this one. Um, God bless you guys. Bye.